the trophy to bring it back to Norway. Here we go. Uh, we're in the game and the game starts. And uh, like I said, Victoria Sea Dragons in white and Akaren uh, in blue. And Akaren is already on the fast track to the Sea Dragon uh, basket. A nice defense move here from the Sea Dragons trying to pull away with the with the ball, but uh, on the heavy attack, a forging attack, and two Akarin uh, girls try to rip out the arms of the Sea Dragon player. Um, another attack wave going in. Sea Dragons do still a good job keeping them, uh, them away. They are concentrating on the defending. And it's not that easy as I would have thought for Akarin to score in the first minutes. Yeah, we we are not. In, we are still in the first minute, so we saw a lot of scores in the first minute uh, yesterday. Very well, Sea Dragons try to break uh, out of the attacks, uh, and at least uh, they they are in ball possession here against the uh, Akaren. This is not so easy as you might think. Very well done by the Sea Dragons. Call from the referee, holding without ball, free throw against Akaren. Wow. And we uh, almost have uh, two minutes uh, of the first half behind us. Congratulations to the Sea Dragons here. And Sea Dragons are on attack. Yeah, what you hear, you can see the, the defense of uh, Karen, uh, the, the typical Norwegian early attack uh, uh, defense, uh, good for checking and directly the counter against uh, the goal of the opponent and what I'm always impressed about the Norwegian team is they basically attack uh, the, the goal from the, th uh, from the top and then they have an excellent passing down to uh, a player under the goal and this is normally working 70% uh, which you could see that in Duisburg was, for example, not so proper working. They're getting very strong on the goal of uh, the uh, Sea Dragons. They are way tight, but uh, at the moment they are not uh, uh, in, the, in the position to bring the ball out again uh, from 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 the goal. I'm astonished uh, by the play of the Sea Dragons here. They do a pretty good job um, uh, interrupting the game of uh, the, the Norwegians. All of the Norwegians are not uh, awake yet, but I would have guessed to see the first score in the first minute at least. But uh, here the Sea Dragons uh, have been two times uh, counter-attacking, uh, stopped by the forechecking of the Norwegians. But nevertheless, here again, the uh, Akaren players are trying to... Uh, to attack and do a very hard pressure from the close side, but a tackle to the surface and still um, yeah no goal for Akaren. The change of the goalkeepers is uh, very good. Very good they work. Yeah, they are way tight each other, but this was not tight enough. No, but this is the first goal after three and a half minutes, and I would have really said uh, Akaren dominates from the first second. Uh, in a way, the Sea Dragons don't have uh, time to take a breath. Did you fill in the, yes. the score? Thank you. Oh. And again another attack by uh, Arkaden and the second goal. Yeah, well, maybe it uh, was a question of time uh, for the Sea Dragons um, and uh, they came fresh in the water widely awake but now they are overrun and Akaren is getting on their rhythm into the attack and uh, they I think you always sometimes need a second to adapt to the other team and find out what is their weak spot and what is going on in the defense but still uh, Sea Dragons do, a, uh, uh, do well in uh, passing back and forth, intercepted here by the current player in the middle of the pool. And here we go, fast counter attack, two current players coming from both sides, one from above. Wow, the pass was intercepted by a Sea Dragon player very well. Um, this is surprising. I wouldn't have thought uh, in such a game uh, we see passes intercepted. We see passes, YouTube is live. We see passes intercepted. Um, 
by the Sea Dragons here. Um, good work. And now we have even an attack uh, from uh, Sea Dragons on the basket of Akaden. Yeah, it's the first time that they really uh, come to the, the goal of Akaren. But you can see here, of course, a solid uh, play from McCann. And here you can see the, 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 the difference of, uh, in, the, in the defense. There's always one offense player. One attacking. on one situation for just a second. McCarran uh, attacking from above. Already the second player waited on the open side. And uh, yes, we have another goal. Yeah. And as you could see, the attack was uh, from the t uh, top of the, the, the goalie, then a perfect pass down, and then uh, the score was done from the side. So it's... Uh and yeah. what is you could see after the forechecking, uh, Akarin directly attacked the, 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 the goal, and uh, there there's no... No thinking about. So no, 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 there's, there's, there's no hesitation. No but it looked, it looked a little bit like the machine of a car and needed to warm up to go into the game. The beginning was, uh, I was astonished they it took them so long to, to, to score it's the first it's goal. It's a game. It's, uh, you know you will win the game. Or you lose it. Yeah, but not uh, when you are a car and you come here to, to, hold to, to pick up the trophy. Absolutely. Fr frankly speaking, the Sea Dragons should be not any issue. Uh, no, 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 no. Statistic That's is so that with this mentality, into uh, and now we saw again a great goal from the surface on the head uh, of the goalkeeper. So they were not close enough, and it was uh, the attack from the uh, from uh, from the top, but on the same time two Akan players were positioned left and right from uh, from the goal. So. The Sea Dragons have at the moment no chance to cross the middle of the pool. I can't control the, 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 the whole game. And uh, even there under the defense, they're in the same, same number of girls underwater than the attacker. And normally the, 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 the defense have to basically have one girl under the water. That's true, but nevertheless, um, I wouldn't have thought we see uh, the Sea Dragons in their account half a lot, and we saw them a lot there. Even though they don't three put a put a put a danger times. on the yeah three times. I didn't. Three. I wouldn't have thought they made it three times. We have games yesterday where the other team didn't make it in the other half at all for all the 20 minutes. So uh, if you think it's a young team, the Sea Dragons, it's uh, quite unexpired compared to uh, Akaden. Yes. And in, in this, they totally respect to the Sea Dragons. And another goal and uh, from the attack, massive attack here on the surface, uh, on the basket of the Sea Dragons. On the left, from the left side, uh, perfect score into the hole on the, on the goalkeeper. You see now the defense are getting loose uh, of the Sea Dragons. Of course, uh, we are now end of the, the first half, and now you see the, the f uh, uh, physical condition uh, pays more than for 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 a car. You can see that when they attack and uh, go to the other side of the game, uh, that they have less bottom time. Nice attack from uh, the left side, clear control of the ball. Nice defense here again from the Sea Dragons. They they uh, don't break as hard as I would have thought. Another goal. goal, very nice from the left side, from the open side. And the uh, goalkeeper was pushed up. Very nice goal, but it was the second wave, still the second wave. And uh, Jose, yes, I will um, tell the tech team to update uh, the schedule. And uh, this, is, this game is more and more uh, controlled by a current although the Sea Dragons do uh, quite well in uh, at least breaking through. But here we have a counter-attack from a current. And look how massive they uh, attack with the, the goal with four players from all sides. Four players from all sides, all positions, first attack from the buff, and basically good pass. After this, uh, they get out of control, but they don't let them swim. They get the counter attack immediately. Oh, this is a dangerous situation. He have yeah. two current players again, one goalkeeper from the Sea Dragons. 
And again, uh, Karen is attacking yeah. heavily on all sides. Yeah, the, the, the attack from the first goal was uh, basically... Call from the referee? No, it's halftime. Oh, yeah, but it's still a call from the referee for the halftime. Ah, <laughs> 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 well... Jörg, I love to commentate with you, it's so entertaining. Yeah. Uh, the question is only for whom it's in entertaining. For me, it's all yeah, about yeah, me. It's yes. all about you. Yes. That, that, yes. That, 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 yeah. I don't care what's outside my bubble. You know, you you're just uh, you're just another bubble outside my bubble. But you're very <laughs> colorful, so yeah. I like to look at you. It, it's a uh, great fun for me to ah. have you with me. Thank you, Jörg, for uh, for making this morning for me so uh, no much problem. more colorful. Mm, no problem. The next two days I will be here. Well, uh, I'm coming here to enjoy this. Me too. I'm already in the enjoyment. I'm deep into it. Yeah, it will be better. Have fun with us uh, and our different opinions. Um, but uh, I think uh, you can see that uh, for the game that Akar is uh, the team uh, which is here aiming for the championship and uh, the way they play, they can get uh, much better in the rhythm. Uh, doing the game, uh, great uh, for checking, uh, solid defense. When you when you really think about, uh, they need defense, but uh, here the defense is uh, it's more by the for checking part of the of the team. Uh, solid attack, of course. Not every attack uh, uh, goes for a score, but uh, I think uh, during the next uh, two days we will see uh, also there an improvement and it's also the will depends on against which team you will play so if you here you play in a in a team where you lead 6-0 then uh, you t uh, you are more in the in the pattern to try something out which you might not try in the in the more tight game but uh, it's also a good chance to do so. But uh, controlling and uh, I love uh, Akan's for checking. Yes. This is uh, really impressive. And what I am even much more love is uh, their for checking and going directly to the counter attack. So it's not just uh, getting the ball and disturb the, the offense it's really uh, getting the ball and start to controlling the game. This is what we saw yesterday also from uh, the uh, Orcas, uh, incredible fast, and from Bamberg too, uh, incredible fast game. Uh, the Orcas against Akaren, uh, the men, was just an amazing game, how fast the Orcas switched and uh, pushed with uh, incredible speed into the defense of Akaren, uh, the men. And also uh, from Bamberg, uh, the game against uh, the Turkish team, um, that was also an amazing uh, amazing game. Uh, we don't have the camera in the center right now. We only have two cameras working. That's why they seemed a little bit out of sync. So I'm sorry about that, Philip. And another attack from a Akaden. <laughs> so I give over to uh, Bobby. He will take over because he knows the Sea Dragon. So uh, Jörg, welcome, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Thanks for having uh. me. And uh, hi to any uh, Aussies at home here, you might be watching this, it uh, should be about 6 o'clock over there. Uh, I'm really excited for this game. What did you think of the uh, the first half? The first half was 6-0 uh, for current. Oh yeah, I was watching as well, and yeah. um, I thought for the first three and a half minutes, um, the Sea Dragons did really well to hold them off. Yeah, basically what we can see of the Sea Dragons that uh, they play the, the the defense quite uh, well. They are uh, in their position. The change of the goalkeeper is basically quite tight, so there's not so much space. They try to bring the ball up, but uh, of course, uh, Akarin is on the on the physical condition a little bit stronger. Uh, but. Uh, I think that they play very, very concentrated uh, in the things what they do. But there's a massive attack in, the, in several waves. Uh, uh, 
And again. Um, okay, that's another goal. one. Here. Okay, that was 8-0 uh, for Akan, attack uh, from the top. Um, so, oh Just got no. the frozen footage at the moment. Yeah, at the moment we are now, oh, and now we are back. Uh, have a different camera view. I'm really hoping the Sea Dragons will just get back that confidence they had in the first uh, three and a half minutes because they played awesomely, really good defense, and it's good that they are uh, taking some risks and going forward and uh, attacking as well when they get a chance. Uh, of course, <laughs> uh, it's not easy uh, trying to have a consistent attack against the Akan girls. Yeah, of course it's uh, it's uh, difficult when you t play of uh, one of the top teams uh, to have the, the motivation high to to win. Uh, uh, we see that uh, the one camera is frozen, so we see now nothing at the moment. So there was a really great. Um moment in the towards the end of the first half where uh, the Sea Dragons managed to uh, drag one of the goalies from the Akron team off the goal um, and that was you know actually quite a close moment. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed of, uh, uh, of the, the quality of uh, the Sea Dragons uh, here when you, you imagine that uh, it's almost the first time to play here against such yeah experienced team and former champion so uh, I saw I uh, saw much higher games and higher scoring f in, in in that uh, in that situation uh, here yeah of course this was of course uh, when you when you as a goalkeeper don't protect your goal you you, s you try to move uh, your head too far away from the goal that is dangerous. This is almost a goal. So you have to, to stay in a position and hope on the defense, but the goalkeeper was basically alone. Uh All right, this is a three and one situation. Ooh. So for most of these girls, uh, this is actually their first uh, time playing uh, against any international teams. Um, mm -hmm. We uh, Davos uh, interviewed Sonia, the captain, yesterday after one uh, the first games, and um, yeah, some of these girls have only been playing uh, less than a year. I think it's uh, impressive uh, when you when players play less than one year and. Uh, how they understand the pattern of the, of the game and something like that. So that's that shows me uh, how international sports became. That um, the quick uh, adoption uh, of uh, the tactics or the basics uh, from one country to another, and that I think uh, is um, very impressive. So. It's uh, pretty cool what uh, we could see so far. All right, so we're just heading towards the end of the timeout that uh, I think was probably called by the uh, Victorian Sea Dragons. And there's still five minutes left on the clock. All right, let's see if they'll try any new tactics. And if they can just get hold of possession for a little bit longer. Yeah, the, 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 it's of course uh, what you see, what is uh, the, the Sea Dragons, a little bit lacking of uh, uh, experience. Uh, yeah, especially the with the ball handling. The yeah, the ball handling, but when they, they feel they have to pass the ball, they're searching for the other player. The Norway pass the ball and uh, want the player to be on this position, so they're not uh, searching the the girls on the. So this is of course uh, has uh, some something to do with their physical condition, but also 
I don't know how long the calm players uh, play each other. So oh, that is <laughs> that, so there's a blind <laughs> understanding where they are, and uh, this is uh, one of the key elements uh, you have in into the. Oh, that was a really good read uh, of the ball. Um, Yvette from um, the Sea Dragons almost did a, a great intercept just then. Well, what I see, the first attack is not always successful from uh, from Norway. No, so there's a solid defense. Uh, the, the goalkeeper is not so easy to to uh, uh, defeat. So it's uh you know the Australian girls definitely got really good wrestle in them. Oh, mm -hmm. there was a goalie swap. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, with when you have three Norwegian under your basket, uh, it's uh, it's difficult. It's now 10-0 for Karen against the Victoria Sea Dragons, and we are talking from the Champions Cup 2018. And uh, this is the second girls game here, and uh, it's a total game okay. 31. Okay, we have another tight situation where Sea Dragons just went onto the goal. For um, for the viewers at home who um, might not really know the history of uh, who the Sea Dragons are playing right now, <laughs> they're playing uh, Akaran, which is a, a team from uh, Oslo in Norway. And um, Akaran, they have won the Champions Cup ooh, probably close to 10 times. I haven't counted, but it's uh, they've won it a lot of times. They're definitely uh, <laughs> one of the premier women's teams uh, in the world, so um, the Sea Dragons definitely aren't doing a bad job here. So on the trophy, I can see three times. They've only won three times. That is what I can see okay. on the trophy: 2005, 2013, 2016. Ooh. Yeah, now it's getting faster, the goals. So, so one of the, um, yeah, one of the really hard things to do in rugby, um, especially for uh, relatively uh, new players without the experience, is transitioning from um, defense to attack. And uh, that's one of those crucial moments where if you get that wrong, then um, you're kind of almost <laughs> better off not winning the ball in the first place because um, when you try and go on attack from playing defense for a while, then that's a very dangerous um, moment. So the referee on the surface interrupt. Yep, so this is game. probably a free throw. Yeah, it's no, it's not a free throw. I think it's a referee ball. Okay. It's oh, yeah, that looked like it was out of bounds. The ball dropped um, outside the playing area. So now the referee gets to throw the ball into the water, and the two teams just, uh, who gets to it first? Yeah, again, a massive attack from Akan from this time from the bottom of the basket, uh, now from the left side, two players on the right side from Ooh, Akan. So you can see uh, one of the girls from the Norwegian team has done the goal. Uh, and yeah, there's a referee call for yeah, pushing. pushing. Pushing on the goal, pushing the goalkeeper without ball. So, like, uh, free throw against uh, Akaran. Okay, so there's only 30 seconds left on the clock, and the Australian girls are definitely going to want to hold on to this and not let one last goal in. Um, yeah, attack from the, the should be Sonia, open the captain. Side. Okay, there's 10 seconds left. Let's see if they can stop this. It's just one last time. Come on, girls, you can do it. Ah, uh, okay. So that looks like it's going to be a fourteen nil. Yeah. Which once again um, might seem like a lot, but um, we're talking about a team here uh, with you know half the players. This is the first international debut, and uh, and they're playing against one of the most experienced teams in the world. So good on the girls back at home, and. Um, yeah, uh, for all the Aussies supporting, uh, give them a pat on the back, send them some messages of support. Uh, they will still have a few more games ahead of them um, in this Champions Cup. 
Yeah, and I'm I'm happy to see the 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 the, the, the team from Australia playing so disciplined uh, and motivated. It's a good uh, uh, thing for our sport and development, even on the other side of the earth, on the yeah. far side, <laughs> I would say. I think uh, a lot of people in the rugby community still have a they still have a view of Australian rugby the way it was maybe three years ago mm. and uh, it has changed a lot in the last three years. It's grown immensely. Um, the number of clubs, you know, three years ago is probably about mm. four or five clubs. Now there's, uh, I think, nine. Um, mm. The number of people in each club have grown um, <laughs> and, yeah, the level of competition has definitely gone a lot tougher. Um, Okay, now we're going to uh, the next uh, women's game. This is uh, the Castros from Colombia against uh, Black Mermaids from Sweden. So I think this uh, we will see the different uh, position of the, the, the teams uh, and uh, the quality in this game. Um, I'm looking forward to see the Colombian girls. Uh, I saw the young Colombian girls on the World Championship uh, last week, uh, which was already uh, impressive. And uh, so sorry, I'm just going to run off. I'm supposed to be uh, watching this game by the side of the pool because uh, my girlfriend's playing for the Black Mermaid. So oh, I'm going to leave you, and okay. uh, yeah, I'm going to watch from the side of the pool for this one. Okay, I'll Enjoy. find. Uh, I'll get whooped for that. Okay, no problem. So. I so my friends from the underwater rugby and uh, the wet sports basically uh, I should support the commentators now I'm the first time alone here but uh, we will manage that no problem um, so the teams get ready so black mermaids from Sweden uh, uh, in white and uh, Castores uh, in uh, blue or dark. So also for me as a national coach, uh, it's uh, interesting to see the best club teams uh, and to understand uh, uh, their way of playing, especially for the next World Championship uh, next year. In July in Graz, uh, we can see on this Champions Cup uh, the best uh, club teams and you get an imagination uh, what the national team uh, uh, is uh, to play because a lot of national players of each country are here participating on the Champions Cup. So, as mentioned, uh, you are watching the Champions Cup uh, 2018. Uh, amazing tournament uh, with uh, 15 men teams and 12 female teams. Uh, and we are on the second day and the total game number is uh, 32. So now it's the start of the game of the Castores uh, against uh, Black Mermaids. Uh, black Mermaids in white. So basically they should be in black. <laughs> but uh, against Colombia, the Castores, the champion from uh, Colombia. So we're waiting for the start. We have a watch uh, on the team of uh, the Black Mermaids. Uh, I would make a bet that they get the ball. Still some waiting. <laughs> 